In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a drop shadow effect to your text right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And then I'm going to show you how to change the color of the drop shadow effect for each individual character in your title. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we can begin by making a brand new title. So we're gonna go up into File, New, Legacy Title, and we'll press OK. Now, in the Legacy Title window, you want to go ahead and create a title. So select the T icon, select anywhere on the black video, and just type out a word. I'm just gonna do a three letter word that is wow. Then from there, of course, you can change the font, you can change the size, you can change the weight of this. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of this, you just want to center it up into the middle of the video. And then we'll just exit the legacy title window. Now, once we've left the legacy title window, we want to drag title on to our sequence. And from here, we want to go ahead and add the drop shadow effect. So we'll go effects and we'll search for drop. Drop shadow should be in the perspective folder. And once you've found that, you just want to drop the drop shadow effect onto the title. Now, if we go over into the drop shadow effect in the left of Premiere Pro, we can see we've got the drop shadow color and we want to change that from black to a different color. So we'll select the black box and we'll change the color. So we'll select red. Now. As you can see, you can't really see much. If we zoom in, we still can't really see a lot on that drop shadow. But we're going to go ahead and mess with the settings now to really make this drop shadow stand out. So we're going to go down to opacity, pull this up to 100%. Go to direction, and of course you can change the direction if you wanted to. But I'm going to keep it roughly where it is. We'll go down to distance, and this will affect the distance between the drop shadow and the text. So if I increase this, then the drop shadow is going to disappear away from the original title. So we don't want this to be too much. I'm gonna keep this at around six or seven. And then if you wanted to soften up your drop shadow, all you need to do is just increase the softness. But I want to keep this at zero. I want to keep a nice hard edge on that drop shadow. So there you go. That is how you add drop shadow to your title. But how do you change the color of the drop shadow for each individual character? Well, we need to begin by copying the title layer and making duplicate copies for each individual character. So if you have a 10 character word, then you need to go ahead and make 10 copies. But I only have a three character word, so I only need three titles. So I'm gonna select the title and I'm gonna hold Command C to copy. I'm gonna move over and hold Command V and V. And that's gonna paste that in two times. Alternatively, there is an easier trick if you go to Title and you hold Option on your keyboard. Whilst holding Option, if you pull that title up to Video Layer 2, it will make a perfect copy. So I'm gonna hold Option, pull that up to Video Layer 2, and you have a perfect copy. Of course, we need three copies, so I'm gonna do that once more. And there we go. We've got three title layers, all of the same word. Now from here, we need to go ahead and we need to separate each individual character and designate that to a specific layer. So video layer three could be the first character, video layer two can be the second character, and video layer one can be the last, the third character. So in order to separate these, we need to go ahead and create a mask around the letters. So select video layer three, we'll go to opacity, select the free draw bezier, and we're just gonna draw a mask around that first letter. Now we'll move down to video layer two. We'll do the exact same thing. Draw a mask around the O. And we'll go down to video layer one. And we'll go ahead and create a mask around W. Now, if I turn off each one of these layers individually, you can see they are all isolated. Each individual character has their own layer. So from here, we want to go into effects and we want to search for change color. That should be in color correction. So you just want to drop change color onto title one or video layer one. And in change color, you want to go down to color to change. Use the eyedropper tool to select the red. And then from there, if we pull the hue transform to the left or to the right, you'll notice that the red starts to change to other colors. So we'll select like a nice yellow green for the last character. 
I'm going to copy that change color effect. So I'm going to select that. Hold command and press C. We'll go to video layer two, hold command and press V. Then we want to go ahead and we want to pull that slider over so that it is not yellow. And of course, if you wanted to do that to the first character, just paste that on. Mess with the hue slider. And there you go. You've successfully changed the color of that drop shadow. So there you go. That is how you create text, add a drop shadow, and then change the color of that drop shadow for each individual character right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you found it useful, then please do subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.